Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Lambo Mang here and welcome to Sprint Vector. Now this is a pretty awesome game that's just released a few days ago actually on Steam VR and for the Oculus Rift. And what it is, it's a um, it's like a free running parkour racing game. It's like draws inspiration from kart racing games like Mario Kart. So you know you run along tracks, pick up power ups, all that kind of thing. But you're doing it at like crazy fast speeds in VR. So this game is listed as having official Oculus Rift support, official um, Vive support, and I wanted to see how well it runs on Windows Mixed Reality. So let's just jump on into it and let's see what it's like. All right, so here we are in Sprint Vector. Now this area is known as the skate park. This is where the game dumps you when you first start it. So this is like a nice little training area. They have like a bunch of different obstacles where you can, you know, jump around, run around like an idiot, just get used to how the game plays. So I'll just quickly go over how the basic mechanics work and then we'll just jump into a race because you know, it's no fun me just rambling about how the game plays. Let's actually show it. So this game is using a locomotion style similar to say Lone Echo where you grab onto the objects and you pull yourself around. Except for this, you grab the air and you just swing yourself forward. And then you just keep sliding like you're on roller skates. So that's the main way of moving is that you're just gonna keep swinging your arms like this. Oops, there is a wall there. Okay, let's not crash into that again. Yeah, so you're just gonna keep swinging yourself around. To jump, you got the touch pads on your controllers. You just hold them down and like throw your hands down. Now you can actually jump twice. You got a double jump, which is pretty cool. Climbing is, well, you can climb on certain objects, these green objects, um, if I show you, I can just grab onto it, climb around like that, throw myself into the air. Uh, grip buttons work as brakes. And if I hold down the brake and the jump button at the same time, I can actually drift. So that's your basic controls. Jumping, oh, you got jets for when you're in the air. Sprinting, brakes, and drifting. So then you just combine it all together for some pretty crazy fun, some pretty awesome maps. Oh, uh, let's get into it actually. All right, let's go to a single player race. We'll start off with the very first map, the easiest one. Um, I mean, I've already gotten like the four stars for this map. I know quite a few of the shortcuts on this map. So let's just jump into it. So the way this game plays is that it's a it's a very um, kart racing style game. So like your Mario Kart, so you're gonna track your race along and you pick up power-ups along the way, which you can use to, you know, screw with the other players. Like you, I'm looking right at you, Mr. Blue. Here we go, two, one, go, 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 go. And so yeah, you just gotta do a lot of the sprinting. Uh, and there's like, there are shortcuts everywhere. It's like, I don't think I've ever seen a kart racing game with this many shortcuts. All right, what have I picked up? All right, I've picked up a little mine which slows down anybody who goes through it. So let's just put it up here on this corner. Yeah, so it's green for me when an enemy uses it, it's yellow. So I kind of like to call it the honey mine because it looks like you're going through a giant ball of honey. And well, it slows you down, kind of like honey would because you know, honey's pretty sticky. Imagine going through like a giant bowl of honey and that's what the power up's like. <laughs> so this is a pretty cool shortcut here, though I missed half of it. Uh, am I gonna land it? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, there are shortcuts everywhere in this map. Oh, no, 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 I missed. I'm all the way back down here again. All right, all right, let's go. Where am I? Second. So I got a little heads up display. It tells me like speedometer, how many jumps I've used, my position. And I got to catch up to this dude. Launch, no, I missed. Come on, go, 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 go. I can't lose now, this is the easy map. That's gonna be embarrassing if I lose on the easy map. Oh well. Oh no, okay, that's a shock mine. Or was it? I'm not sure. Whoa, what happened there? Jeez, got myself all turned around. Uh, that person got turned around as well. Why are they going backwards? I've noticed that a few times now. Sometimes the bots will like just turn around 
and start going backwards on the track. Okay, I'm not getting first this time. Sneaky little bot with <laughs> running in there with the shortcut right at the very end. Here. Second place. Okay, that's not too bad. Two minutes 04. That was what? Seven seconds behind? Yeah. In fairness, I was trying to explain how the game works. But yeah, that is a very basic race in Sprint Vector. All right, let's go to a one of the harder races because admittedly that is a very basic level. There are some pretty cool ones that have a lot more stuff going on. Let's go to... Let's go to Toxic Barrage. This one's pretty fun. What's my best time on this? A minute 56. I gotta beat that. So there's a global list, global leaderboards, also a friends list. I don't actually have any friends that own the game, so I guess I, that means I'm always gonna be number one on it. So that's a plus, I suppose. So yeah, this is a really active game. Lots of using your arms. I played this for like a good hour or so yesterday, and man, my arms are still so sore from it. So if I play lots of this, by the time I finish this game, my, my muscles are gonna be huge. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Now this looks like a shortcut up here. Oh yeah, that's Death's a shortcut. Nice. Okay, let's go over here. Let's see if we can get this boost pad. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure if I've ever seen like a, a kart racing game. I'm gonna call it a kart racing game. Even though it is more parkour than actual karts, it's still got the same formula. You know, power ups, what am I doing in here? Hold up. How did, what? What, how did I end up in there? Jeez, and I'm still first. Oh yeah, these things, they're called grip streams. You hold on to them and they'll propel you forward. But there is a nice little trick that I've found that not many people in the multiplayer seem to use. I'll show, you, show it to you once I come across another one. Here we go. So, oh, never mind, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, kind of died there. All right, let's see if I can get it this time. Which is that if I grab onto it and I just climb myself along, I can get a lot of speed, as you can see. Enough to boost me back into first place. Oh, this dude thinks he's got a chance. All right, let's avoid the shock mine. Ah, oh, I gotta get used. I gotta get used to drifting. I am off the track again. No. Oh dear. Hey, I am last. Jeez, I am not doing well at all today. All right, what have I picked up? I've picked up some sort of. I don't even know what that power up I picked up is. Let's. Oh, okay, it's some sort of nitrous. That's cool. Oh, can I get up here? Heck yes! This looks like it's gonna be a pretty good shortcut if I don't get if I don't get sliced up by the fans. Yeah boy! Guess who's in first again? Alright, let's go over here. Yeah! Oh wait, I'm second. Wait, who's f oh there we go. Now I'm first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I shot behind with my power up, but I hit the dude. That was a lucky shot. Ooh, nice. However, my time is about 25 seconds slower than my best. So that's a little bit awkward. But actually, while we're here, I can show you what I meant with the grip streams. Because this is something I don't see many people using at all in the multiplayer. So if I were to, most people, they'll come up to these, they'll just grab hold of it, and then just ride it like this. So there's boost pads there, which give you a nice boost. But um, what you actually want to do is that you want to grab onto this, and you actually want to climb along it. And you can just grab like a crazy huge amount of speed. I've won quite a lot of races doing that. It's really fun. Once you get the hang of it, it just propels you like crazy. Oh, and another, another little tip. If you're flying through the air and you want to hit the ground faster. All right, let's hold on to this. You hold, hold your brakes because your brakes will actually make you fall to the ground a lot faster 
it increases your gravity. So I just slammed into the ground right there. So I, I could fall normally or I could just slam into the ground. Those are two tips that are gonna help you win a lot more races, especially in the multiplayer, because that gets super competitive. All right, let's, actually, let's check out one of the time trial challenges. So, let's go back to the main menu, back to the skate park. So you've got single player races, challenge levels, and multiplayer races. I've done this, a lot of the single player races, and a decent amount of the multiplayer, well, a decent amount of multiplayer as well. I haven't checked out the challenge levels yet, so I've got no idea what they're gonna be like. So let's have a quick look. All right, the premiere, that's the only one I've got unlocked. Advanced tips, direction you face controls the direction you run. Yes, I know, that's not really advanced. That's kind of pretty basic stuff. How do I start? Is that the button? Ah, oh, here we go. So time trials, I don't know what that is. What is that? Collection, outrun the countdown, each coin collected. Hardcore, all right, I've, that sounds really hard. Um, let's go straight to the time trial. What have I got to beat? It doesn't tell me. All right, let's just jump straight into this. I mean, how hard can it be? Simple so far, nothing too complicated here. Oh, there was a shortcut there, okay. No, I, I tried to I tried to drift. It didn't want to drift. Jump. What's drifting? It's the jump button and the grip, isn't it? Apparently, it doesn't work here. But that's a well, okay. <laughs> that's kind of a shortcut, except I screwed it up trying to drift and failing hardcore at drifting. I don't know if drifting is disabled for this map or if I just suck at it. Let's try this again. There we go. Nice little shortcut. So much of this game is just finding good shortcuts. Like this. Like, on some of the more advanced levels, the kinds of shortcuts you find, they just feel so dirty because it feels like you're cheating. Because you skip like, I don't know. Whoa. Oh, there we go. I've broken everything, haven't I? Oh dear. Okay. Uh, we're back here again. Um, so yeah, I kind of uh, accidentally yanked my cable out. It's, um, it's a bit of a problem. Like my cable is four meters long. On my Vive, my Vive cable is five meters long. So it gives me enough slack for it to dangle loosely at my side. Whereas this, um, not quite the same. It does sort of, it is a little bit less slack. So I do sometimes smack my controller into it. Um, it's just something that I got to get used to. Aside from that though, this game plays really well on Windows Mixed Reality. Like, the movement and everything, I'm not getting any tracking issues with the controllers. Everything else like jumping, brakes, all that kind of stuff works fine. It works really well on here. Surprisingly, on the Steam store page for this game, it doesn't have Windows Mixed Reality support listed. Which, you know, doesn't really mean that much. It just means that it's not, you know, developer supported or developer tested. It should work regardless, and it does. What's surprising though is that um, the developer's previous game, Raw Data, they actually added, they went and actually added Windows Mixed Reality support proper. Um, so I wanna do a video of that soon, showing what that's like. But they've done things like added support for the Windows Mixed Reality joysticks, that kind of thing. Um, so I'm surprised that yeah, apparently they, did, they didn't test this game on Windows Mixed Reality. Um, I'm not sure what's up with that, but yeah, it works fine. They could just like go ahead and add it to the store page um, because I have not run into any issues with this game. Single player race. What have I got? Machine death. Okay, this one sounds kind of fun. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, that's right, I have done this in the multiplayer. Yeah, when you play the multiplayer, all the maps are unlocked. Single player, you have to unlock them by progressing. All right, two minutes 30. Let's see if I can beat that. Alrighty. Okay, that looks kind of acidy, that rain. 
Do I get like a, a, a space umbrella? Can I get like a super fast space umbrella? Here we go. Well, there goes my hand again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check the batteries on that. Okay. Oh, someone's in the sludge already. And someone else is in the sludge and I'm almost in the sludge. Oh God, this isn't good. Oh, made it, made it. First though, what have I got? I'm, oh yeah, let's just slam right on down there. Can I make it to this pad? Apparently not, uh, and I'm probably gonna die in the process. Oh no, I rescued it. All right, what is, what's my ability? Some sort of blast, which is not very useful when everybody's behind me. Oh yeah, this looks like a shortcut. Go, 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 go. No, 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 let's not, let's not collide with the exploding barrels. That's probably not the smartest thing I could do. Okay, apparently there was a missile after me. I can't move, there we go. All right, someone's trying to, someone's trying to take my sweet first place. Let's not crash into any dangerous looking barrels. Oh, okay, I've got a, um, I've got a, a, a slow down, a slow down mine. Let's drop that here. Come on, go, 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 go. All right, where are we? Checkpoints. Can I make it to this? Yes, there we go. Oh yeah, grip stream. Let's get some super fast speeds. Like crazy, it's crazy how fast you can get on those things. Here we go. Can I make it to that jump, that boost pad? There we go. Oh, we're gonna drop, okay, okay. Can do, no worries. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, how do I get up there? That would have been handy. There's another mine. Just drop mines everywhere. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I kind of lost control there. Okay, okay. We're first, we're first. Oh, there's a finish line right there. Lol. <laughs> wow, okay, I was quite far ahead of everybody else. And this is supposed to be a hard map. That's one slight frustration is that there's only one difficulty setting for the AI, which appears to be very easy. Uh, actually, another frustrating thing is that um, when everybody else, is, everybody else is racing around, there's like a little distance meter. It tells you how far behind they are. It just says like, it just says a number. It doesn't say what units though. It's some sort of <laughs> arbitrary distance unit. I have a hunch that it's in feet though. Considering the rest of this game is in miles per hour, etc., I'm gonna guess the distance is in feet. It would be nice if there was an option for metric though, because um, there exists this fabulous measurement system. It's called metric, and instead of being in arbitrary values between different units, it's in lots of tens and hundreds of thousands. Makes a lot of sense, and um, a significant portion of the globe use it. So it would be very nice if we could use that in the game as well. Ah uh, dear. That's only a very small gripe though. But uh, yeah, that's one of the more advanced maps. As you can see, there's like, there's shortcuts everywhere. I was barely on the main track. Once you know these, once you know how to find the shortcuts, or how to use the grip streams, all that kind of thing, it's so much fun just speeding around. Uh, and something else that's cool is that at the end of every map, there's one of these areas here, which is kind of like a, waiting room. So everybody who's finished the race, while they're waiting for everyone else, like in the multiplayer, while they're waiting for everyone else, they've got this cool little playground that they can mess around in. And there's like a different one for every single map. Whoa. But man, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed with this game. The developers did an amazing job of making like, it's pretty much <laughs> super fast paced parkour racing that doesn't make, well, doesn't make me feel motion sick. It doesn't seem to be making many people feel motion sick. Wow, that was fast. Okay, how did I end up here? Oh, okay. That's a thing. Yeah, they've managed to make this pretty crazy awesome game, which is not making many people feel sick. 
And yeah, it is such a fantastic game. It, it feels pretty much like the, um, the Mario Kart of VR is what I would call it. I would love to see like, I'd love to see more content updates as the, as the game goes through the year. Like say, every now and then just a bunch of new maps for the multiplayer. That would be awesome because I want to see the multiplayer of this game stay alive for a while. I don't want it to be like so many other VR games I've seen where there's people playing the multiplayer for the first few weeks and then the user base just dies out. Hopefully this game has enough for people to stick around for a while because it's so much fun to race around, especially in multiplayer as well. I haven't shown off any multiplayer here. Thought it'd be better just to stick to the single player because it's essentially the same, just a lot easier when you're up against incredibly easy bots. Isn't that right, Mr. Robot Sir? Mr. Hipster Robot Sir. That's right, hey. Yeah, so that's Sprint Vector. It's, uh, it's an incredibly fun game. Racing around these kinds of speeds, it's like mind blowing. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, it works completely fine in Windows Mixed Reality. As long as you don't yank your cable out of your PC and uh, your, control, your controllers have enough battery power. So as long as you got those two things sorted, it is a ton of fun. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Try to get back into the swing of doing these more frequently. I've got a few more videos coming out soon. Gonna be revisiting Doom VFR because that's had a huge update for Windows Mixed Reality recently. And it is so much better now. So I wanna, I wanna show off what the, um, the changes are like on that. Also gonna be visiting uh, Raw Data by the same developers as this. Because yeah, it's got official Windows Mixed Reality support as well. And they've done a pretty good job of that. So I wanna show that too. A few other games like Subnautica, now that it's out of early access, I wanna show what its VR mode is like. I don't, I don't even know where my camera is. Hold up a second. Oh, there you are, hello. Yes, yeah, so I got a bunch of videos that'll be coming out soon. If you wanna keep up to date on those, or if you wanna like, just wanna keep up to date on VR in general, because I'm doing a weekly VR news video as well. If you wanna keep up to date on any of this stuff, I would suggest checking out the subscribe button. It's, uh, it's a very cool button, it likes to be pressed. So I would, uh, I would definitely suggest going down and giving that subscribe button a little hello. It might, might wave back, who knows. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one and stay cool. And uh, this game's gonna make your arms really sore. Yeah.